So one of the big topics for the module um, that we're in right now is the concept of care. And um, I am going to be making this video down here in the basement of my house, which uh, is sort of appropriate for talking about care in part because this is where I come to do much of my family care in the form of mending clothes, laundry, um, and other sorts of things that make up the kind of infrastructure of my family and my life as a, as a mother and a partner. Um, but I also spent some of the pandemic down here in the basement and I'm doing so now because um, it's late on a Friday afternoon and the family is home and I wanna make this video without having a lot of interruption. Um, so it felt sort of appropriate to come down here to the cave of the basement to talk to you about care. Um, I feel like care is one of those words that we hear about more and more um, within higher education, particularly in the last couple of years of COVID, but we don't necessarily stop and take a moment to take, to take stock about what that word means um, and what we mean by it. Are we talking about kindness? Are we talking about empathy? Are we talking about love, compassion? Are we talking about all of those things? Do those words mean the same things? I'm not sure that they do. Um, and I think stopping to consider where care fits into our own pedagogy and what space it takes in our own class classrooms is important. Um, and showing care in the classroom itself can, can feel really complicated. I think we all know this firsthand that, you know, on the one hand, we hear a lot about how student, how flexibility and adaptability is at the heart of care. I remember in spring of 20, that was one of the big messages that faculty were getting was be flexible, be flexible, be flexible. But on the other hand, we hear a lot that what students need is clarity and consistency. And sometimes flexibility and adaptability can feel at odds with clarity and consistency. So how do you walk that line? How do you... Um, how do you provide care for your students while understanding the dynamic among all of those different values? Um, and then what do we do when we're in a situation where caring for one student is at odds for caring for another? Um, how do we reconcile that? How do we cover those bases when we're designing courses, when we're designing assignments or assessments? Several of the authors that we're gonna be reading this week also talk about care within our institutions. Um, and it's really important to acknowledge that, you know, studies show that people of color, women, tend to bear a much larger burden of care within our institutions. Um, students seek them out for a particular kind of care. Often administrations and just the, the community of the institution will expect care from them in different ways than their colleagues or compatriots. Um, how do we reconcile that? What do we do with that? What do we do when care is something that our institutions love to talk about, about us as being caring? They love to encourage us to be caring, but then when push comes to shove, they don't do a great job valuing the work, the often hidden work, hidden labor that care really um, embra it, it involves. And finally, I feel like it's impossible to talk about care with at least, <laughs> at least acknowledging that we are all humans in need of care as well. Um, and I know, ev I think probably every one of us, I'm going to say I know every one of us has had moments where it felt like caring for our job, whether it's for a student, for a class, for a colleague, for a program, for the institution at large, has felt like it's at odds with caring for ourselves. And what do we do with that? How do we reconcile that? How do we make that work um, in our jobs, but also in our lives for us personally? How do we survive that? So I hope in this module, through the readings, through engaging in conversation and the questions, through completing some of our activities, um, I hope you'll have an opportunity to dig a little deeper into the concept of care, what it means for you, what it represents for you, when you found it empowering and when you found it challenging, um, and you'll share a little bit about your experiences and your thoughts. Thanks.